guys, it's Laura here from What's Life Without AG, and today I'm going to be showing you guys eight different Halloween costume ideas for your American Girl dolls. And with these costumes, I used everything from things that I already had had in my dolls' wardrobes. So I hope you guys enjoy, and this is also kind of like an updated all my dolls video with my better quality footage. So I hope you guys enjoy. The first costume idea I have for you guys is this is a Dorothy costume. So for your doll's hair, um, you want to put it into two braids, and I recommend using a brown haired doll for this, but any doll that you have will work. Just put their hair into two braids and flip them forward, and if they have long enough hair like a Kanani, you can, or if their hair is curly like Kanani's hair would be, say, or Kaya, not Kaya, but Kanani, curl the ends like Dorothy has in the movie, and you can put some little bows on the ends, but I don't. I didn't do that. And then for her dress, she's just wearing the blue, this blue gingham pattern dress. So you can see, let's see, my camera focus. See on there the gingham pattern. And it just has a little white collar and it just has this little really cute, and I got this from a craft fair, but you can probably, if you're so, you can make one. And then she's wearing these white socks from American Girl. They're like really old, like 2006 or seven or something. They're really old. And they're just a kind of sheer, not sheer, but they have like little holes in them and they're see-through. So you can see a little bit of knee. And she's wearing some ruby slippers. This outfit was modeled on my Samantha doll. The next costume idea I'm gonna be showing you is a cat idea. So. For the cat costume, I have this black, it's actually a cat costume dress from American Girl. It's just a black sparkly dress with some fur um, cuffs and a fur neckline. And there's actually a tail on the back, as you can see what um, the doll is holding onto. That's the tail that is on the back of the dress. For shoes, I just put her in some black flats. And then she also has some cat ears and for her hairstyle she's just wearing it in two braids this is modeled on my Jess doll who was girl of the year 2006 I would recommend having this costume put on a doll with a darker hair color so she can be all like all in black as like a cat and if you don't have a black dress like I do you can just wear a like you can just have your doll wear a black tank top or t-shirt and some black leggings with black shoes and there's cat ears are really popular now so I'm sure you can find a cute pair of doll cat ears on Etsy or something for really cheap the next costume idea is for a cheerleader so what I've done is I've just taken taken my doll's hair and I put it into little rope twists which are just like twist braids and comment down below or comment on my Instagram if you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to do a rope twist because I would gladly make a tutorial on how to do a rope twist or how to do these rope twist curls so I just wanted her hair to be have curls in her ponytail so yeah and then her outfit is just this little dress that I think it's from the Springfield collection and it just says go team on it and it's just like a little cheerleader dress and the shoes she is and the shoes she is wearing are from the retired volleyball outfit but any type of white sneaker or any sneaker or tennis shoe will work but preferably a white sneaker because cheerleaders wear white cheer seat shoes so this is the closest I had to that so yeah that is my cheerleader idea it was being modeled on Nikki Fleming who is was girl here 2007 and yeah the next costume idea is for your doll to be a cowgirl or a horseback rider. So I'm this entire outfit was Nikki's riding outfit, and this is that outfit minus the slacks. I think it has her well, those might have been riding accessories, and her riding accessory hat. So the hat that she has, so for her hair and her hat, the hat came with the outfit or something and I've just pulled um, her hair into two little pigtails and put the hat on it and then the shirt is it's kind of hard to tell with the lighting that I have out here well it is outside but it's kind of cloudy but it's kind of hard to tell but it's a mint green colored shirt 
And then the sleeves just have this little kind of florally design on them. And so does the shoulders. And then the pants are just some pink corduroy pants, some little jewels. And then she's wearing the purple riding boots that came with the outfit. And if you want your doll to be a horseback rider, I don't recommend you going online <clears throat> and buying this outfit because it will be very expensive. Since it is from a girl, Nikki Fleming Girl Year 2007's collection. So I would recommend using any other riding clothes you have and just like a pair of jeans and a t-shirt with some like horse girl boots and a little hat would work for and they would get the point across and this is being modeled on my doll Rylan who is a Nelly doll which is Samantha's retired best friend the next costume idea I have for you guys is to be a medieval princess or just like a person from medieval times so that is what this costume is so for her hair I pulled it into two pigtails again and I think it just looks really cute with the outfit and then the top is just this white with like sheer designs in it it's a really cute top and then there's this green lace-up vest and it was a real a real struggle to get on and then this skirt is just a really big skirt and it's there's no crinoline in it it's just the way that the fabric is and then it's like a teal color with some little leaf patterns into a darker teal and this outfit was I had gotten it from a historical fair that we had in my town and I have the ladies who made it I have her information not with me but she has an Instagram and I will link her Instagram in the description of this video so yeah oh by the way this is being modeled on my doll Kalia and she is a number 36 she's retired but she's number 36 if you're curious the next costume idea I have for you guys is to be a Native American girl or a Native American princess, whichever one you choose. So for the hair for this costume, I just put her hair into two French braids because just because that's because it's similar to a look that Kaya would give. And then this is Kaya's retired um Sorry, I don't know. It's like, not party dress. I know what the word is, it's gonna come to me. Powwow! It's Kaya's retired powwow dress. The new one's like blue. So, but if you have anything from Kaya's collection, that would be a great option. And then it just has a little belt that came with the dress and then the, it's the belt. See it? Really cool stitch pattern on it. And these shoes also came with the outfit. But they're a little hard to get on and not really the best shoes for outdoors, but she's outside. So, yeah. Outfit was modeled on my Konami doll, girl of the year 2011. And I thought it was a really nice look for her because I don't have a Kaya doll, but I wanted someone to wear it. And no, I'm not trying to be racist at all in this video. I'm just saying I don't have any dolls, any other dolls with that skin complexion. So I thought, um... Can I would be the best choice. And I'm not trying to be racist. Anyone can wear whatever costume they want on Halloween. I just thought this dress personally looked the best on Kanani. The next Halloween costume idea for your dolls is for them to be a doll. I know that sounds kind of like, what? Why is she being a doll for Halloween? She is a doll. Well, it's kind of a funny thing, like a person being a celebrity for Halloween. It's kind of like the same thing, but not. So what I've done with her hair is I have a wavy haired doll and I just put it up into two high pigtails and then like curled it around my finger so she'd have little curls. And then I put her in this blue jumper that I got from, I think it was from Springfield. And I thought it was just a really cute like doll like look. And for shoes, you can wear whatever shoes you want. I just put Caroline's 
pink meet up like, flats on with it because I thought it kind of gave a contrast to like the pink and the blue. And if you wanted her to be a creepy doll, you could make her outfit creepier and you could use washable marker and like draw on her face if you desired to. Oh my god, you're just sitting on her feet. But if you wanted to change it up, you could make her a creepy doll by drawing on her face, making her outfit a little sloppier, changing her outfit with what you have. You could also make her a more played with doll and like make her hair not as even, mishmash her shoes have her not wearing a shoe, make her outfit really like kind of not matching and just not really that like not really an outfit that like an AG, IG or AG tuber would have their dolls be in on a normal day. So just kind of or like put if you're also trying to make it look like a doll, like a younger kid doll, put her in an outfit that is really old that you don't use anymore. Like I have some corduroy pants and sweaters that with matching hats I don't really use anymore that I could have used as well. So yeah. And finally, the last costume idea I have for you guys is a princess. So what I've done is I've just had my um, doll's hair just down in curls. So this works really nice on a curly haired doll. And for the dress, I just have this blue sparkly dress and I love the like, little gold accents. And it's just all the way down to the floor with these gold flats. And then she has little armbands that I think really give it a adorable and the an adorable touch. And I love this outfit, and but if you want, you don't, you probably, probably don't have this dress that I have. So if you want to look like for a princess look, just get a sparkly dress or a long dress. One of the holiday dresses would work nicely, just without the headband. And also, if you have like, I have a tiara from Disney World that I could put in her hair to really make sure that you knew she is a princess. So you can put a little tiara in her hair. Or something like that so you can really tell she's a princess or like have some of your other dolls dress up like servants or something and have them all walk together as a group that could be a really cute idea and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe so you can never miss another one of my videos and I'm so close to 100 subscribers so if you guys could please help me get there I would love it and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And comment down below your thoughts on this video. Any, uh, comment down below any video requests. Any, um, what your dolls are bringing for Halloween. And just any tips in general for my videos. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you're having a great day. And, um, yeah, so, bye everyone.